Orlando is forging ahead with new regulations when it comes to art. This is the kind of art that becomes murals on the sides of buildings through the city beautiful, but not everyone thinks the city should be meddling with their artistic expression. Well, she's Greg Fox is live in downtown Orlando, and Greg, mural art is popping up everywhere. Uh, it really is, and you can see it in places like the side of the Harry Buffalo building here across the street at the corner of Church and Garland in downtown Orlando. But some merchants are using art in a way to promote their businesses, to try to get around the city's sign ordinances. So these new rules are designed to clear up any confusion. We're, we're going to release the CD soon. A lot of Robert Bauer's customers at Liberty Barbershop are musicians and artists. So it's no surprise the outside of his building in the Milk District of Orlando is a mural. Some are like this and like this and have sometimes prompted code enforcement to ticket business owners for violating the city's sign ordinance. Orlando has been working on new rules for a two-year mural art pilot program, but Robert thinks new rules, um, new costs, and new restrictions have government cutting his creativity. I believe um, that they shouldn't be telling you what is as art. Mm -hmm. and. Um, because that's freedom of expression. A sign is considered anything that attracts attention to a building. City Council debated the new rules. A mural permit would cost $50, and the art could only be in commercial zones, and maintenance of the painted area would be required. Also, just 5% of the surface area could be used to promote a business, and the art could only be on the side or rear of a building, not covering windows, and a maximum height of 60 feet. All on council appear to favor the rules. I know there's been a lot in the media about that we're going to be, you know, restricting freedom of expression. No, this does the exact opposite. We're actually going to be allowing murals. And no one showed up to oppose the program. I'm all in favor of the motion to case by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. So it passed, though businesses with murals already will be allowed to keep them with no changes. Under the new program, and again, it's a two-year pilot program, uh, you will not be allowed to have murals like this in residential or historic sections of town. Live in Orlando, Greg Fox, West 2 News.